Smart Scan is a wonderful capability, but you don't always get it. It's impossible for many execution plans, and this is a major restriction. If you think about what a Smart Scan actually does, it delivers individual columns, individual rows, back to the instance. Now, a buffer cache can accept only blocks. Therefore, a smart scan cannot possibly put those columns of rows into the buffer cache. It's simply not formatted appropriately. So a smart scan has to return values directly into the session's PGA. Or to put it another way, the only access method that can use smart scan is direct read. Well, what access methods can use direct read? There are only two, which are table full scan and index pass full scan. Any other access method, typically index range scan, table access by row ID, cannot use a smart scan. Second major issue, there are strict limitations on the type of objects that can be accessed through smart scan. It really is only heap tables. Can't use indexes, can't use clusters, can't use IOTs, heap tables only. Perhaps hardest to track down and giving sometimes very erratic results, is that smart scan can be interrupted by various conditions. You've met all the requirements for smart scan, direct read and so on, got the right execution plan, the smart scan starts, and then hits something that causes a problem. Issues that we know cause problems are, for instance, read consistency, also delayed block cleanout, chained rows. Any of those issues, and a few others, mean that the storage tier will have to interrupt its smart scan deliver complete blocks into the buffer cache, let your session then do what is necessary to the block, and only then can the smart scan proceed. Now, in order to maximize the use of smart scan, there may be quite a lot of work. Very often, you'll have to adjust your index structures. Making them invisible is a nice technique there. There are many, many, many parameters that can influence the likelihood of achieving a smart scan. And almost inevitably, you're going to be rewriting a lot of HSQL and putting hints in it to get correct execution plans that can enable a smart scan to occur. This is all because of one fundamental problem. The optimizer is not in any way aware of the exadata. The optimizer develops an execution plan in exactly the way it would without the exadata storage. The use of smart scan, the awareness of exadata, comes at the next level down. The optimizer develops the plan through a normal pass and then passes it through to the SQL execution engine. And it's the SQL execution engine that determines on a case-by-case -case basis whether to use a smart scan. This means that you might develop a plan and execute the statement 50 times. 49 times, you get a smart scan. The 50th time, for whatever reason, the SQL execution engine decides not to. This can result in somewhat erratic performance.